I find that in this instance, in a world of social distance, this is not the first time this condition has plagued a soul's existence. For this world has built up nations that are built on segregation. There has always been a distance placed on those who face damnation. And I guess that's my frustration in these times of isolation. We don't take the time, don't clear the mind, don't pause for contemplation. That maybe this thing we're feeling, that can feel just like a cage, is the very reason why we see this world so full of rage. Lower class, middle class, upper class, elite. One man in a mansion, millions homeless on the streets. What's your gender? What's your background? Tell me, what's your race? We use feeble-minded thinking to put people in their place. Stay away, you're much too gay. Why must you act so black? Social distancing, I think this world never did lack. So don't go near, feel the fear. Reject closer inspection. Don't take a breath in all this death or expect to get infection. Yes, don't you touch, it'll hurt too much, so don't you risk your life. Be scared they have a virus. Or be scared they have a knife. Be scared of me. I'm scared of you. So what then must we do? When we're all scared to look within, should we find the fears the truth? Yes, I find that in this instance. When we stay socially distant, there's always been more to that term. There's always been existence.